Hello, welcome. Welcome to this live today. We're going to be inviting in Dr. Kim DeRamo. Kim and I are going to be um, having a chat with you about increasing the frequency of your business, particularly for people that feel called to help with healing and awakening on the planet. So people who might be healers, coaches, uh, light workers, empaths, doctors, any kind of work in that space. Um, Kim is a real light for helping people to navigate the business framework when you're here doing that very intuitive, empathic, soulful work. So how do you bring that forward in the world of business and in the framework of society and the world as it is? So I'm just going to um, invite Kim into the room. So one minute, hold the line caller. Yeah, and hopefully she's online. So we'll just wait for Kim to join us. Uh, so if you don't know, she is a, oh, hey, she is here. The sparkly light has arrived. Hi, how are you? <laughs> Good, I was just about to start singing your praises and you arrived like an angel into the room. <laughs> <laughs> Ta <-da! laughs> it's really great to see you we haven't gotten to connect but congratulations on your big move and being in Spain and I'm really excited yeah. for you oh bless you I'm so still hoping to get to Colorado soon so I can see all my baby nieces and nephews before they get so yeah. big <laughs> yeah yeah you, you gotta do it it's beautiful out here you're gonna love it I can't right. wait I can't wait so just telling everybody that um We've done this once before, I had this conversation about um, the frequency of yourself and your business when you are seeking to help others and how the density uh, and the frameworks of business in the world can get you completely and utterly lost and away from your original calling. So just please share with us anything and everything that you want to share with people about how to navigate yeah. that. It's important to... Um to realize this, we, we, you know, a lot of us understand that, you know, we're attracting our reality, we're creating that uh, our reality is reflecting what's inside us, you know, law of attraction kind of stuff. Um, but we, we you know, because so much of it is unconscious, not conscious, we get in this train of like, oh, yeah, I'm positive, it's good, everything is okay, and not realizing that like all the baggage we're carrying, all the lineage programs, all the belief systems, all the unresolved emotions and conflict from our own past, we're carrying that in our system, and then that's going to show up in our work and in our business. And for so many people who are um, empathic and awakening and uh, feeling that calling, to assist others with coaching or healing or um, any kind, you know, even nutrition or just like different ways of becoming more healthy and more alive. This will show up in our, our own business. It will show up where we are in our own process because our process mm -hmm. is sort of what we're bringing with our work anyway. And if we're not paying attention to that, if we're trying to like override that and then like get in all these business strategies or social media strategies, and then we're like, <laughs> who wants to listen to another like exhausted person who's depleted and like working really hard, people are going to feel your frequency exponentially more powerfully then they feel your words or then they feel what your work is trying to express. And so if you're not letting that in and living in that relationship of receptivity, like actually looking at what's showing up in your life and letting that transmute inside of you, you know, going to the uncomfortable places and sort of like cleaning out the, the whole space in yourself, um, we just end up having like a, an exercise in frustration and a lot of people are doing this. They're like working really, really, really hard and nothing's really happening. So how do we ignite life's magic where people find us, people know like, yep, boom, they feel you um, and things move fluidly in your business. Mm -hmm. And it's so true that for most people, not most people, I would say for a lot of people in the space, not everybody, 
you are bringing work that has lit up your own soul and your own body and healed you. And so there is an element of you in the bit, like you are kind of the business, even though the message has its own life. And I think, I just remember when I started out, it wasn't very long before I realized that this was not true, but I kind of felt like, well, you better have it all together and you better just like, this, like you, you have mess, you keep that mess to yourself. Like you just soldier on and you do the shiny thing that everybody tells you to do and be in life. And it just does not work because you feel terrible. So like anything to do with the marketing strategies, your pricing, the way you reach people, the anything and everything, if it doesn't feel good, right, that disconnection's showing up and it is the business. Mm -hmm. and, and that's one of the things I see put people back in like their own illness or depression or like whatever it is that inspired them that they're like, whoa, trying to grow this business is bringing back my autoimmune disease. So now I need to back off. Mm -hmm. And that's like, oh, no, no, you mm -hmm. can only release these densities as you're moving forward. And if you, you feel mm -hmm. like it's hard, like an up pushing a boulder up a hill kind of thing with trying to grow this business, that is the indication you're not in your ideal alignment. It's not the indication that your inspired work isn't meant to happen or that you're not moving in the right direction. Mm -hmm. Just you're doing it in the wrong foundation. And if you realize that, you know, you can unhook these things because they're going to come up really loudly and really clearly like, oh, I feel it in my solar plexus or all oh, this heaviness on my shoulders. You know, if you tune in, you're going to feel what is coming up and you can breathe through that and acknowledge that and invite that to come up and actually your body knows how to release that energy. Um, mm -hmm. So you're free. So your system isn't carrying that anymore and you can more clearly um, communicate and transmit the message you're, you're here to share. Beautiful. So would you say with increasing the frequency of your business, a core component of it for you when you're helping people do this is to let the discomfort, everything that's uncomfortable inside you come up yeah. and sit in a process of, of um, energetically dissolving that? Yes. Yes. And it's much, much easier to do that than it is to like push that boulder up a hill and do a lot of things we think we're supposed to do. You know, everybody that you probably as well, like everybody we know who like, you know, when I'm with other doctors who've like stepped out of that system, like I did and are doing something more organic, all of them had some kind of awakening experience. Like, whoa, I was exhausted. And they just told me, oh, you yeah, have chronic fatigue syndrome and kind of left me there to figure it out on my own. Or, oh, I had Lyme disease or I had mold or, you know, some weird thing that like stops you in your track. And you had a whole shift in consciousness where you realize like, wait a minute, what's really possible? What needs to happen here? And you allow a major change for yourself. And, and for everyone I've seen, other practitioners, coaches, doctors who are doing something really inspired, they had that personal experience. So it wasn't mm -hmm. like the programming, which says like, oh, here's how you're supposed to do it. Teach A, B, and C. All of these people are teaching something really organic that they lived through that changed their life. And so there's a consciousness there. There's a frequency in that. But then when we establish it in a business, very often we get into the frequency of what we think business is supposed to be. And that is a much lower frequency. It's a fear-based consciousness, separation, lack. So then we're trying to take this high frequency message and insight and stick it into the structure of this low frequency business or what I think I'm supposed to be doing in business. And it will never work. And that is the number one reason why so many amazing coaches, healers, practitioners don't ever really make a living, never mind a, a, a wealthy living, doing that work they're here to do. Yeah. So here you and I even had someone message me the other day saying, I've, I've just come out of a marketing coaching framework in the mainstream. So not someone who is... Um, teaching business and marketing from a uh, different perspective, from this perspective. And um, it was the person, the sweet, shiny, amazing healing person, just felt like everything in them was extinguished because they were trying to jam themselves into 
that they could push themselves into a square hole and they're round and it didn't fit and the whole thing just felt super uncomfortable. And I don't, I think now in retrospect, I don't know about you, but once you get your own stuff in alignment, like I can look at marketing businessy things now and I can see, oh, that is down here and that's here and that works for me and I discard the rest. But when you're starting out, it's like, you feel like, oh, I meant to do it this way. You can end up going down the garden path and before you know it, you've lost any sense of connection to your original awakening, to your own original healing. Like you said, you can end up sick again if you if you had an illness in the first place. Yeah. Yeah, and a lot of people, because they've lived that frequency so long, they don't know how to accelerate into the higher frequency of doing what I love. It's effortless. It's fluid. I'm making an amazing living sharing my truth and I receive as I contribute to the world and contribute to everyone else. That's a higher consciousness. That's a higher experience. And so a lot of people like are not practiced into that. So they'll just kind of get back into the, well, wait a minute. Pfft, that's, that's not going to work. I got to do this. And you'll just practice your life there because it's all you've known. Um, and not only does it like, you know, exhaust you, but it diminishes the value of your work. It diminishes the frequency of your work. It diminishes the impact that you're mm -hmm. able to have on others because your, your consciousness is your impact. So, you know, I, I learned that a long mm -hmm. time ago, but I was trying so hard. We we're traveling, we we're doing like TV and all these things. I thought like, Oh yeah, that's going to be it. And it was a nightmare and I was exhausted and I wanted to just be home with my kids. Um, it, but I thought like, no, I've got to do this. And then I'll, you know, be able to have that lifestyle doing this kind of work. So that's like one way to really see first, like, am I doing these actions and behaviors as a means to an end? Or am I doing these actions and behaviors as the end itself? Like, I get to hop on here with you this morning and I'm psyched. I'm like, I'm going to see Bernadette. This is going to be fun. This is going to really activate my day. Like it's an end in and of itself. And then that yeah. it contributes to the business or the work or any individual person watching this is a cherry on top. You, if you don't live your life in that alignment, you've got nothing. Yeah. It will never, ever work. So you yes. can't do the means to an end and then like, oh, I'll get there because it can't work that way. It can't work that way in any area of your life full stop, right? Like I 100% just want everyone to really take what you've just said because uh, you've done that, it doesn't work. I've done that, it doesn't work. In fact, it is soul destroying. And you can just waste so much energy. You can make yourself, you can make yourself go insane and sick in the process of running that wheel of I'm going to do this to get that. And uh, a very wise thing came to me uh, recently. And it was very, very clear. Uh, and they were like, no joy, no do. No joy, no do. No joy, no, no, joy, do. no do. No exceptions. And they were like, you can ask us any question you want and we're going to give you the same answer. It doesn't matter whether it's about your business, about your health, about your lifestyle, about your relationships, your friends, your boundaries, your lifestyle, your marketing, your pricing, it doesn't matter what it is. No joy, no do. Joy do. And it's, that is the alignment, right? Rather than, well, I've just got to do this because then... <laughs> Yeah. Then that's going to get me, and it's just immediately you're you're out of sync. Yeah, yeah, and then for me, I've learned like if I'm buying into that idea, well, but I have to blah 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 blah. The first thing I change is no, I choose to blah blah blah. Like maybe it's like well, I have to get up really early and make my kids lunch, and like oh, I don't want to. And now you're in this victimy, um, you know, frequency, <laughs> which isn't going to work for anything. And you're like, whoa, 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 wait a minute. I'm choosing. I'm choosing to do this thing. Maybe I don't really want to do because I don't have clarity to like how I could do it differently. That's a way better starting point than, oh, no, yeah. you don't understand my plight because you have da, 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 and I don't have that. So therefore, and then you buy into your own victimhood. Like you look at another person, you're like, oh, but that's because she is a better speaker and I don't have, or because she's a doctor or because your excuses will like just infinite of why you're a victim. And so if you just start that one thing and you're like, no, 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 I choose. I'm, cause you're subconscious that you are choosing it, <laughs> but to get out of victim, you've got to like choose where you are, even though it's counterintuitive. Like I would never choose that. Yeah, well, subconsciously you are, but if you can get into alignment with that, it will shift, right? Cause non-resistance. So at least you're not resisting what's happening, okay? 
I choose to get up even though I'm tired and do this thing I don't want to do, but I'm choosing it because maybe I don't have the clarity or I don't know how it could be different. And, you know, I was there for a while when I was still working as an ER doctor and I hated it. I was miserable. And I knew there was something else for me, but I also knew like, I'm not there yet for whatever reason, that's not fully coming into fruition. So I'm going to choose to do this other thing that I know is, is limited and it's not my lifelong dream and I really don't want to do it, but I'm going to choose to do it because I'm in charge of my life and I choose to be where I am. That's the opening that ignites your now so that something brighter can come in now. Yeah, so something brighter can come through you and move you in the now, right? Because I think also there's a there's an attachment to um, my mission's so important, I'm so important, I need to make this happen, it's all about me. Oh, it's nothing about us. It's like when we allow space in the present moment, when you're not like completely caught in all your own stuff and in the world stuff about who you should be if you're doing this work, then when you're not in that, it's amazing what just happens. It's amazing the miracles that happen in your perception and the unfolding and the synchronicity and the joy and the miracles, like tiny little things to really big things. Like the only reason we're having this call is because yesterday I was like chatting to someone and I was like, oh, God, this person needs to know Dr. Kim. And I was like, oh, Kim's amazing. Oh, let me email Kim. I was busy doing something else, but I was like, let me email Kim. And now all of a sudden we are now having this great conversation <laughs> because yeah. – there was not a courting, there was not being caught up in, you know, I've got to be doing this thing over here. It's just like an allowing of whatever is coming up in the moment. But if you're so caught in your own stuff and in what you think you should be doing in the world, um, and like I'm a, like a terrible uh, example of having done that for a long time. It's just like I am a human doing shush, shush, I just, I'm too busy doing. <laughs> yeah, me too, me too. Well, and it's still, it still happens. Like I am in more and more process of that refinement every single day, more living from the authentic self and letting, falling away of the residues of the small self that would have me be like tight. Yeah, you know, I'm busy. I got to do this thing. Come on, don't touch me. And I'll see in my relationship with my husband, like it will be a mirror where I'm like, am I being soft and receptive or am I being you know, hard and doing, you know, you just got to check in. And, and I think that's one of the most important practices to have is like a practice where you're like, all right, check in. Where am I at? How am I feeling? What's happening within me? Where am I functioning from? And I do it moment to moment to moment. So I can see mm -hmm. like, oh, there's a little layer of <gasps> that would have me talk too fast. You know, there's a little layer of I'm so excited about this. I want to make sure blah, blah, blah. Oh, that's, you know, let's just loosen up on that. Everything comes with grace and ease or not be anxious for nothing and let these little residues in my system know it's, it's okay. And then you literally you exhale them, like you breathe them out because you don't need to live from that space anymore. And so keep moving toward your inspiration. Yes. Don't like put the brakes on to wait until you're like, no, that, you know, you're a complete picture. It's your journey yeah. that is refining you. Your journey is growing you. Yes. And, you know, this whole thing about when you when you feel like you're called to something, it's different than I woke up one day and went, what shall I do for a living? Or I think I'm going to go and do the hardest thing in the world and go and like start from scratch being a healer or a coach or whatever. It's like it chooses you, right? So there's an element of there might be people listening, they're in their jobs, they're not doing this work, they feel called, but... And it won't go away, but it's a big, it's a big movement to go out in the world and do this. And I know people that have stepped into this work recently who are terrified of being in the public eye. They don't want to be on social media, but the calling is so strong inside. And I think oh, yeah. it's really important to remember that something else wants to move through you, right? It's not us individually oh, who yeah. are doing this work. We are just creating a space for the work to come through to whoever we are helping. Yeah. My, my first videos were like a mess. Like I couldn't get three <laughs> words together. And, and I had a client I interviewed um, last week or a couple weeks ago, and uh, she said the same thing. She said, all of a sudden, boom, there's my website. Boom, there's my clarity. The pages wrote themselves. And she said, I never thought in a million years I would do these videos, you know, because she was seeing one client at a time in like a herbal business. And she said, um, one of the things you taught me in the, the Be The Medicine course, she was in a course with me, um, 
she said, I thought, no way, are we ever able to do that and make videos? And she's like, all of them are done. It was the easiest thing I ever did. Because when we connect with that love for the people we're here to, to serve, for the people we're here to assist, it, it flows through you. So don't worry if you think like, how will I ever do that? I'm not like this outgoing person or I'm not good in video or whatever the inspiration is asking you to do, trust it because you are going to become mm -hmm. more and more and more the person who can easily let that message and let that work come through in the way that's like organic for you. Let the work come through, like not yeah. do it, figure it out, make it happen, try hard, just letting it come through. I love that. And in the Be The Medicine, um, that is the kind of making yourself the space for the solution. So it's like, can you just talk a little bit about that? Because I know you've got that coming up soon. Yeah. So you can tell people a little bit about that. Yeah. So when we um, refine our system to be at a higher frequency, to live more in our organic, authentic, you know, we're connected, we're hearing the it's like you hear the whisper of your higher self you feel it you know um so you could hear it see it feel it you know you just have a sensation you have an experience of knowing like what feels right what no longer feels right and then finding the courage to choose that and begin to let it live you and so um in the work where i'm bringing people through this process it's called be the medicine um you're literally letting your system just dump all the old unconscious programs that are creating those limitations, that are having you not know, that are having you unable to move forward. Like, well, I don't have the money or I have kids and I can't just leave my job even though I really don't want to do this. You know, so a lot of people like feeling that inspiration to do things differently, but then it's like, well, I don't know what that looks like. Or I want to do things differently. Oh yeah, but I can't because I have to wait until later because blah, blah, blah. So you're like buying into those programs instead of letting it show you here's what's possible. And when we come through a process like this um, and what we're doing in the program and be the medicine or, you know, any of the work you're doing and what I'm doing, it's a journey into that true self. And you begin to live that true self, which really fulfills you instead of like pseudo fulfillment, which is always like, maybe I get a little hit, but then I'm depleted later. And maybe, oh, this seems like it's working out, but it's always like later I'll get to enjoy it. No, this is a whole different way of living. And in the Be The Medicine work, you're really awakening to that, to have that alignment and feel it and live it and know and have your clarity because that's what energizes your body. It's exactly what heals your body and it's what manifests your true life. Mm. And it's not a long distance away, is it? In terms of when people think, well, but you don't know because this happened to me and then that happened to me. It's going to take me, I'm going to have to do the work and it's going to be a long journey. I'm going to have to do it layer by layer and this stuff about money and this stuff about confidence and myself down. But it's actually like what I love about your work. Um, you've got a you've got a live free workshop today, so you can tell people about yeah. that. But I've been to a lot of your things, and I come because I just love. I'm always like, oh, you're live. I'll tune in. It's just such a rapid release into a completely different state. Um, so, can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, it it changes the way your brain works. It changes the way your nervous system communicates with your body. It changes your hormonal, you know, uh, uh, expression, your hormone levels, like your physiology is changed when you do this kind of work and shift your consciousness. And so we understand scientifically mirror neuron effect. You know, if, even if you think of music, musical notes, you have like, you string the G string, you pluck the G string on a guitar and there's another guitar next to it in the room, that G string will start to vibrate, even though you didn't touch it. And, and it will begin to resonate with that vibration you've begun. And it, the same happens in our system, you know, like attracts like resonance, spurs resonance. So if you and I get together and I'm um, in a consciousness of 
knowing my truth, knowing I can, abundance, uh, life is serving me. I am receiving an opening. I am in oneness and wealth consciousness and I'm living that. And then you and I come together. It's going to ignite that same capacity in your system. Now, whether you intend it and step into it or you block it and shut it down like that, we have free will. So we're not just all mm. gonna you know, pop open unwanting, unwilling, you have to have some intention of allowing that process, but it is not the same as what we think. Oh, I got to go out and work hard. If I'm going to let this happen, I got to do the work. It's more of a surrender. It's more of an allowing. It's more of letting it in rather than like doing it, the, the small self I'm mm -hmm. doing this thing. And so that's one of the main reasons it's such a powerful way of doing the work. Um, when, because I've been through that journey from so much fear, I did everything. I'm like working hard in my business, doing the marketing mm -hmm. thing. Let me learn another social media thing. And it was like, <gasps> like an addiction because there was fear. And so mm -hmm. I had to grow through my own process from fear into courage of, you know what? This feels heavy. And even though my mind's like, I have to do it. I'm going to choose to let it go. Even though I don't know how the frick it could work out, I'm going to choose to let it go because I'm going to honor my truth. This feels heavy. This cannot be my path. And so letting things go, letting things go, trusting that, that takes courage. And so even that is a resonance that will ignite mm -hmm. your system to function in a different way. So if the person coming, because everyone who comes to the Be The Medicine program is obviously consciously choosing to allow an acceleration in their life. And they're consciously choosing it to do it in an aligned way versus like what the world is telling, you know, is selling you, right? The yeah. world is like, no, no, don't ever stop. Keep going, push harder. Once you get to a certain point and realize like, nope, that cannot be my path, you have clarity. And so you would make a choice like this, even if you're like, I don't really understand what you're saying, but something lights up in you. Something's like ah, a quickening, a speeding up, an acceleration. Every time you say yes to that, which I call say yes to your yes, your life begins to accelerate. You're saying yes to letting in mm -hmm. the new consciousness, the true consciousness and letting it work on you. So major things happen. Like people tell me all of a sudden people started finding me. I don't even know how I wasn't advertising. Way more people came in or all oh, the, the kind of people that started working with me were instead of that, like, oh, sultry people that I feel like I'm pulling them along. These were ignited people who were like, boom, all I had to do was push the button. The rocket ship goes off because they're self choosing a totally different kind of person is coming to me now. Um, like Jen, I interviewed a couple weeks ago said, uh, my website wrote itself. She's like nothing. I couldn't figure out how to get that together. And all of a sudden it was like, boom, 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 boom. So when you begin to choose your yes, you really allow your system to function in a whole new way and it will show you. <laughs> mm, I love it. And, you know, the one thing I always come away with is such a sense of relief and opening and softening whenever I listen to you and your teachings because it's like, can it be that simple? And society would have you believe otherwise. They would believe you have to buy into the whole smoke and mirrors circus of life that it cannot be as simple as these things. And it is, <laughs> it absolutely is, right? Um, so can, how can people come to the workshop? I'm, I'm coming to the workshop. Okay, today. cool. Tell the workshop about, is, it's at drkimd.com forward slash workshop drkimd.com forward slash workshop. And it is going to be today in an hour. It's at 10 a.m. Mountain time. So that's noon Eastern time, uh, 9 a.m. Pacific time, if that helps you. Um, mm -hmm. And it, it, you can listen to the recording. So for people who find our video tomorrow, go to drkimd.com forward slash workshop and it will replay what we're doing okay. today. And I'll be explaining a little more of that resonance and like the electromagnetics of your body, how to activate that, why we're letting a lot of things fall away, like why a lot of things really aren't working for us anymore because they're not true. They're contrived. They're, they're not organic. They're not going to bring you more alive or more wealth. And it's right that it feels heavy. And it's right that you're exhausted from that because that's ready to go. Um, and then also 
some particular tools, like we'll do some work in the workshop um, of how you can begin choosing your yes, even if you're scared or you don't understand. And, you know, maybe this doesn't make a lot of sense to you yet, how you can begin to let that true wisdom inside you come in to guide your life. Beautiful. I'm very grateful that you came because you only have an hour before you have to denote this amazing workshop and hold space for people. So to honour your time, we'll wrap it up now and I'll make sure that the link that you've mentioned goes with this replay so that people can still get access to it. So remember it's drkimd.com forward slash workshop for the free live workshop that's happening today and Be The Medicine, your actual programme in depth yeah. is coming up very soon so you can find out more about that at the workshop yes. as well if you're interested yeah that's how you can give me the link for that the link for that for the program is drkimd.com forward slash btm for be the medicine drkimd.com <laughs> forward slash btm and even just to feel the page and go and look at what we're doing will begin to ignite something in you as well I think the stories of people that have gone through it are actually super inspiring. I always love seeing the video messages and the, the, the messages from people that have come through it. And it's actually so tangible and so inspiring what people have experienced through your work generally and also through the programs that you're running. So, um, yeah, I'm going to tune into the workshop. I'm excited to, <laughs> to be here again. Oh, so wait. thank you to everyone who's come up and keeping an eye on I've read your messages here and it's been a pleasure to have everyone and to have Kim be here. Um, I'll see you again soon, maybe online, maybe in Colorado, maybe in Spain, who knows? <laughs> yes. Thank you. Okay, lovely. Love. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Bye.